You're listening to KEXP. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and I'm so excited to have Dan Auerbach in the Easy Eye Sound Review, and also Robert Finley live in the KEXP studios today. Welcome. Oh, thanks for having us. You Thank look you. very ready to play, so why don't you kick us <laughs> off with a couple of songs? Here we go. I've been thinking, I've been humming, I've been picking and I've been strumming, just waiting, waiting on the song. I've been itching, I've been thumbing, I can no more see. in the Easy Eyes Sound Review live in the KEXP studios, the title track from the new album, Waiting on a Song. Thank you. Let's play another one. Just too good to touch I can't discuss it much I get too choked up Don't want to make a scene Never in my wildest dreams Dreams. 
But I roam this land Sail across the seven seas I'm a hard luck man But I know where my purpose is It ain't on some pilgrimage It's wherever my baby is My love's a pain Never in my wildest dreams In the cold, cold wind Carry my laundry bin Take my rags for a spin Watch daytime TV You're just too good to touch And I can't discuss it much I get too choked up Don't wanna make a scene Never in my wildest dreams That sounds magical. Dan Auerbach live on KEXP here with the Easy Eye Sound Review. And you all sound magnificent. Thank you for taking the time. Thanks so much. You are only two shows in on this tour, and uh, the raves are just coming in. People are ready to quit their jobs and follow <laughs> follow the tour. I heard Robert is already out of merch. Um, yeah, suffice he, it to say. He already got a movie contract, I think. <laughs> <laughs> suffice it to say, it sounds like you're having a lot of fun. I can only imagine uh, when you get towards the end of the tour and you've been playing together for... 10, 15, 20 dates. How yeah, we'll be, be. S- we'll be sick of each other by then. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing at the Showbox tonight. That show is sold out. And this new record of yours is so joyous, Dan. And I can only imagine a lot of hard work goes into making a record. But it sounds like you had an incredible amount of fun in the studio. Yeah, it was. I was, I was you know, kind of getting into Nashville for the first time ever. I lived there for eight years, but... Um, I'd always been on tour, you know, and the whole uh, songwriter um, thing that happens in Nashville, I'd never even experienced it until last summer. And, and this record is, is pretty much uh, what happened after I spent the summer basically immersing myself in Nashville. Nashville seems like an incredibly unique city. There are so many world-class musicians there. And unlike a lot of other cities, it seems like musicians can actually make a living making music there. Maybe people whose names um, listeners aren't so familiar with are making music on a regular basis and actually being able to make a life out of it. Do you find that it's unique in that way? Yeah, I don't think there's another city like it in the world, really. I mean, L.A. would come close, but I don't know. There's just a... there, there's a whole culture of musicians that make a living playing music, and that's all they do, you know? So I just get to, you know, reap the benefits of that, being in that city surrounded by all these amazing musicians. You have really put together a dream team um, on this album. And um, working in your studio, you've got some world-class musicians and world-famous, really. Uh, some of them are here with you today. Can you introduce your band that's here? And- well, I've got Russ Paul here. He's playing the dobro guitar and... and uh, <laughs> You know, he, yeah, that's him there, that's Russ. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Dante Schwebel is here on, on guitar. And um, the last solo record I put out was eight, eight years ago. And Dante was with me on that tour. And uh, did we play KEXP too? We did play Yeah, KXP, we did. We played yeah. KEXP. And this is Pat McLaughlin, and he's been on tour with us too. And, uh, you know, wrote a bunch of songs with me on the record. Yeah. Tell me about some of the other guests on yeah, the record. Yeah, so we've got... Um, well, we've got uh, Gene Chrisman and uh, Bobby Wood, who kind of, in Nashville, they're known as the Memphis Boys because they worked at a studio called American Sound in Memphis. And so they cut uh, Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond and Son of a Preacher Man by Dusty Springfield and 
Suspicious Minds by Elvis and Wilson Pickett Records. and That's just mind-blowing. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the sound of those records is the sound of their personalities on those instruments, you know, and those are some of the guys with us on tour. The last time those two were on tour was like 25 years ago with the High Women. <laughs> you must feel so lucky. I do, every day, yeah, absolutely. I also heard that John Prine worked with you on this record. He's been making records for half a century. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is... And Bobby and Bubba played on his very first record. That's incredible. It's so weird, but it's beautiful, and that's Nashville, really. I heard that John not only played on the record, but you actually worked in the studio together, writing together. What was that experience like? It was fun. It was um, summertime, and we rode over at the house, and the door was open, and it was really nice out, you know? And every time he came over, we, you know, we'd, be, we'd write with Mackie and my friend Ferg. and um, Another legend. David Ferguson. He's a legend for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey. I bet you guys have got so Fergie, many stories. Too, way too many. I'm sick of them. But, uh, I don't believe that for a minute. <laughs> and uh, it's great. I mean, uh, he's just so creative. And he really just sort of... Uh, closes his eyes, almost gets into a trance state when he's writing, and it was, it was really fun to, be, to witness that, be around it, be a part of it. It really feels like a family. It is. Yeah, well, I mean, we're with each other every day. We, we're at the studio every day. You know, people stop by when there's no sessions just to hang out and listen. Tell me about the studio. I know you're no stranger to a studio. Back in Akron, you had your own little studio. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like uh, what you've fixed up here in Nashville is pretty special. I'd be uh, interested for you to describe it. I hear it's just filled with all kinds of exciting instruments, but also the vibe of being there. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Pat Carney got me into recording with his four-track, his cassette four-track. That was the first time we, I'd ever multi-tracked at home, you know. And ever since then, I've really been addicted to recording. And you know, learning about the records that I loved, how they got those sounds, who made them, what they were using. And basically my studio is, 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 you know, years of learning about that stuff and putting it together into a space that I can use, you know. And it's, it's right now, it's just really humming. You know, it's, everything's working. It's great. Well, speaking of that, I mean, you're an incredibly busy man, you know, you with the Black Keys and the Arcs, your solo album, you produce uh, records for other artists and, you have also now decided to turn your studio um, into a record label as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious what your goal is for that. What do you, what's your vision? You know, I guess I don't really have an end goal, but the, the vision is to just kind of put out records that I'm proud of and, and records that we make at the studio. And there's, there's really no genre. There's no age limit. You know, we've got 64-year-old artists. We've got 19-year-old artists. We've got bands, rock bands, bluegrass, you know, acts. Just stuff you're excited about. Just stuff I'm excited about and stuff that we adapt through the studio and the sound of the musicians who, who work there, people like Bobby and Bubba and Russ and all these guys. And uh, it sort of acts as like a filter for these musicians who I like. And I, I invite them in and we, we create something, you know. And, uh, and I, I get to, you know, I'm fortunate enough now that I can put that out under the umbrella of Easy Eye Sound and hopefully, uh, you know, some people uh, who are new to the game get some attention from it, you know, and I, that I can help some people. You've produced, as you said, a diverse uh, array of artists, and I might ask Robert the same question, but as a producer, you think you're pretty laid back, or are you a taskmaster? Um, I don't know. you got to ask these guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oddly enough, nobody's got a microphone. <laughs> That's producing. <laughs> We're live here in the KEXP studios with Dan Auerbach, a new album called Waiting on a Song. And uh, before you play a song, I'd just like to ask, tell me about the Easy Eye Sound review that you've taken out on the road. Yeah, well, we, um, my manager and, rec, you know, uh, distributor were just, they were, they were getting on me about going on tour. I was having too much fun in the studio. I didn't want to leave. But so we decided to do these, these runs on the West Coast and East Coast playing theaters, and we're bringing out acts uh, that we've recorded at the studio in the last six months. So everyone on the show has made their new record at, at the studio, yeah. That's very exciting. Well, there's a sold-out show at the Showbox here in Seattle tonight, but they are just beginning a big tour, so check, see if they'll be coming to your town. Would you play some more music? Absolutely, yeah. We're going to play this song called Trouble Waits for You. This is a new one. One, two, one, two, three. I've been everywhere before 
even on the jungle floor to the bottom of the deep blue sea I got a little hell to pay it's gonna come my way trouble gonna be the end of me Two by two, ain't they got nothing better to do than hang around and looking so fine? Beautiful. Dan Auerbach live on KEXP on the road with the Easy Eye Sound Review. And it is our great pleasure to have you live in studio today. Thank you so much for having us. What do we got next? We're going to bring up Robert Finley. What a treat. From Bernice, Louisiana. One of the greatest voices I've ever heard. Walked right in the studio door with a three-quarter length leather duster, leather pants, snakeskin boots, leather cowboy hat, and the biggest voice I've ever heard in my life. Hey, Welcome, man. Robert. Robert Finley's new album, Going Platinum, out on Easy Eye Sound, and he's going to perform a couple songs from that. There you go. You good? All right. Medicine woman, have pity on your man. Medicine woman, I know you'll understand. I got a deep need, only you can feel. It don't come in no bottle, it don't come in no pill. Medicine woman. Medicine woman, have mercy on my soul. Please don't deny me. Don't you be so cold. I got a burning fever every night. You got the power. Medicine woman, have mercy on my soul. I'll return the favor. It won't be a one-way street. I'm gonna love you forever if you just set me free. Ooh, medicine. 
woman Girl, you got the healing touch Ain't nothing better You know just how to hook me up I can't get it on the corner I can't get it in the store But every time I get it Robert Finley, live on KEXP. Wow, what a voice. It's like you were born to sing. <laughs> Thank you. It feel, do you enjoy it? It, feel, it looks like it feels so good. I love it. I love it. I'm living my childhood dream. <laughs> You've been making music much of your life, but you only started releasing records a couple of years ago. And in your 60s, your first record was called Age Don't Mean a Thing, which you totally proved to be true. Tell me about your journey as a musician. Well, I started at at the age of 10, and it's, you know, it's hard to put a lifetime story in a few minutes, but uh, all my life I wanted to play music, and I always sit in the front row at the church and watch the guy's fingers. And it was like a personal prayer that I was like, Lord, if I, if you give me this, I'll, 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 I'll use it to glorify you. And uh, I found that uh, regardless of whether you're singing blues or R&B, if you're uplifting people and, you, and you're spreading love, and it's a way of spreading love and, and joy throughout the world because the world is, is, is so much in need of happiness. And I've had people come after the show and say, I haven't felt this good in a long time. And that inspires me and, and that inspires me to go on and on. Well, not only have you sold out of merch, but only two shows in, you've, you're getting standing ovations um, at the shows. That's just got to feel incredible. Yeah, it's it's a it's a feeling that uh, words can't explain, but it's it's a it's a great feeling. It's a joy to know that, uh, and and I I'm hooked on. Uh, on the inspiration from the crowd, and I enjoy it as much as they do, and I just hope that they feel what I feel. Well, it sounds like they have been. Tell me about the making of your record, Going Platinum, and what it was like to work in the studio with Dan and these incredible musicians. Well, um, to be honest, when I walked into the uh, studio, I didn't know any of these guys, and I had never seen any of them before. And um, they they were so open and and, and uh, it was like I've been knowing them all, all my life and and uh, this journey the whole time we was recording I never heard anything negative everything was so positive and so uplifting and then my thing were uh, when you are surrounded by the best it brings out the best in you and uh, the encouragement words from them when someone say you you got a gift or you got something great uh it means a lot but when you when you hear it from people that's been doing it all their lives and, and as long as these guys had been on the road then i say you know hearing it from these guys uh, it means a lot more than than hearing it from a fan on the street and to be around it like i said surrounded by the best it brings out the best in you and it's it's a joyful feeling that uh, words just can't explain. I'm speechless. <laughs> well, you've obviously been doing this a long time. You've got so much natural talent and learned talent from all your years of singing and playing. But as you said, surrounded by the best, you must have really learned a lot. How did Dan and these musicians push you on this record? Uh, well, they allowed me to to be myself. Uh, they they wrote the songs and they they give it they give me the story and it's it's. Here's the story, and you tell it in, in your own way. And uh, so they didn't cage me into a box. It was like, we just want you to be you. And once once they, I got that feeling that uh, that I could, uh, I first went in trying to be what I thought they wanted me to be, and then uh, one day then says, look, I just want you to just, just tell it your way. And then I began to open a whole new uh, lifestyle. Everything became fun from then on, all the pressure was off, you know. When you first go into a studio, you, you know, you're on pins and needles, but these guys soon relieved me of all of that. It was just like, man, just be the best that you can be. 
Well, it sounds like an incredible experience. You're on your way to going platinum. And I uh, really enjoyed some of the videos that you've released uh, from these songs. The one you just sang, Medicine Woman, is so passionate and soulful. And then this song you're just about to perform, Get It While You Can. You are really having some fun on that video. I'd love to see you perform that one live. Thank you. Look at how it did. Live in the KEXP studios, it's Robert one, Finley. Two, two. One, two, three, four. Robert Finley, live on KEXP. I want to thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. A new album from Robert Finley called Going Platinum, Dan Auerbach's new record called Waiting on a Song, and the Easy Eye Sound Review coming to a city near you mm -hmm. tonight, playing a sold-out show at the Showbox, and Wednesday and Thursday going to be at the Fillmore in San Francisco. Pat, Russ, and Dante, thank you so much also for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. You're listening to KEXP <laughs> Seattle. Discover new music at kexp.org.